Friday, another big departure from the White House. This time, President Trump's controversial chief strategist, Steve Bannon. CBS 2's Tony Ayala with details and reaction from our local members of Congress. He took the reins of the Trump campaign a year ago and quickly became a focus for controversy, portrayed as manipulating Donald Trump and pushing an agenda of economic nationalism. If you think they're going to give you your country back without a fight, you are sadly mistaken. Steve Bannon came from Breitbart.com, where headlines like this cast him as a pillar of the alt-right. Now, with the president under fire in the aftermath of violence in Charlottesville, Bannon is out. Bannon is not the central problem in this administration. Mr. Trump is. Still, New Jersey Democrat Bill Pascrell welcomed the move. He hopes it's a sign new Chief of Staff John Kelly is working steadily to fix problems in the White House. He's trying to bring some order to a situation that may be orderless. Uh, so I wish him well. I, I hope he can straighten it out. Republican Peter King criticized Bannon Thursday on Twitter. How long can Trump administration survive Bannon using race as political issue? He's not going to have all of the backbiting, all of the leaking, all of the undermining that was going on when Steve Bannon was there. And then it's going to be up to the president. He will have a, a clear path with a united White House behind him. This photo seemed ordinary in January. It's remarkable now. Reince Priebus, Michael Flynn, Steve Bannon, and Sean Spicer each has departed. But with Bannon, did the president solve a problem or create one? Check out this headline on Breitbart.com. Get ready for Bannon the Barbarian. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. On Tuesday, President Trump said, you might remember, we'll see what happens when asked about Bannon's future. He also defended Bannon, saying he's not a racist, and the president complained that the media treated Bannon harshly.